Hello everyone. It's been not really a while since I recorded this. I recorded a, f an, a video a couple of days ago actually. I've made some progress. You guys saw that I did why is it why does it do that? That's so weird. I finished this in the last recording. Well, there might be some areas that I need to go through and fix. And if so, that's not a big deal. I can easily do that. And by go through and fix, I mean like make openings for the player or more well, players hopefully that's my goal is to have more than just one player obviously to get through and get to the exit to here which is the city and this might be the only major city I do I have not decided yet but I did what you see here today while I was out getting coffee at my well at one of my many local family owned coffee shops. I know it's not much but I've actually never really messed with the castle pillars before or whatever you want to call it. What are they called anyway? Hold on, I'm curious. What are those called? Just, I guess, round towers. Okay. Yeah, I've never really messed with the castle pillars. I'll call them pillars because that's kind of what they are, pillars. So, I did what I could. And honestly, I think I need to fix these ones up here on the top. So that they match the ones on the side and ones on the bottom as well because if you look at the ones on the bottom and the sides they're on top of the wall <coughs> whereas the ones up top they're more like in front of the wall versus on top so I need to extend this area up here a few more so I can get these up up top was I I don't mind doing that but I could also leave it as it is but I kinda wanna try it and see what happens <laughs> so yeah and I have the entrance for where the cave comes out at as well. Which is right right there. Well hold on. Um it's right uh, that's not a good uh, um thing to use. Can I use this? No no. It's right there. Actually no hold on, I got an idea. It's right there. That's where the cave comes out at. Or you can go into the cave, back down into it. But, I think I do want to fix this. So, let me try that real quick. I'm curious. I'm a curious George. So, I think it would have to be that low, maybe? And then, like so. No oh, crap, I'm not in the right tool. Hold on. No, it's still hanging off. But actually, no, it's not. Hold on, it's not. Yeah, no, that. I mean, that's just too big of a area. Hmm. I think I'll leave it like this. I don't want that to be too big up here. I think I'll I think I'll leave it like this. I really do. Or hold on. Um let me 
Let me try it again real quick. I'm curious. I'm going to go back to this tool. And let me like expand it some more here. And then let me just like... Yeah, this will work, I guess. Why not? And let's do this. And then maybe... Can I then take this I need the entire thing hold on yeah I think that's too big I really do I might just leave it as is yeah that will be too, way too big. I think I'll just leave it as is, honestly. Yeah. It's fine as is. I don't want it too big. Because you're going to walk behind that anyway. And I don't... I mean... I guess I could say it's an illusion to where it actually is up top of here. But it's not placement wise I don't know I'm just gonna leave it as is I don't care I'm not gonna expand it out and lose space 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 <laughs> there we go and lose precious um, space out here to build with it was worth a try but you know it doesn't really work so you know so what are these for Oh, they're over here, aren't they? No, hold on. Why? What is the difference? Hold on. So you got this, and then you take... There's no difference. Okay, there is a difference. Okay. Ah, uh, there is a difference. If you don't want it just a straight bottom, yeah, there is a difference. See? And then you can do, yeah, there is a difference. That is actually interesting. Why would they have, why would they do that versus, that is, hmm. Why would they, artist who made these do that instead of just putting these down here I mean for this it makes sense oh no wrong way um yeah I like I like this one better than this that's weird I don't know why they would do that I don't know that's weird that has me confuzzled. Hmm. Anyways. Let's find our entrance slash exit here. Okay, why was it not going over? I was moving my mouse over, was I not? And it was not moving. It was just going up and down. I was doing this though. I know I was. That's freaking weird oh, yeah, I wonder has there been a new update for this or are they working on a new one I wonder new DLCs new DLCs that I'm not gonna ever buy yeah no new update alright cool no updates and I doubt there will be one because they're working on trying to fix Unite, which is built with Unity. <coughs> yeah, worst choice they've ever made. So, we need to... Huh, I say we. I need to make the pathing. I did things a bit different this time. I built the... um the walls first <clears throat> I don't normally build the um, walls or anything first for a map for 
well, an outside map. I normally do the paths first, then I do everything else afterwards, like housing, placement, ha placement, well, I cannot talk today, why? Jesus Christ. Like houses, um, businesses, you name it. But since this is a major city, and possibly the only major city in the game, I wanted to go ahead and do the walls first, so I know how much room I have to work with. I might do more major cities, who knows, because I do have, you know, 2,000 maps to work with, so, but, we will see. What tile do I want? I could use this, but it has the grass border, which I don't mind the grass border. I could, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to have grass in the city anyway. Because, you know, houses that hat people own, they're going to have grass. Businesses will have grass in front of them. So I could do that as well. I want to try to do my best at having different sections like a low tier, a medium tier, and then the high tier for housing. So I want to do what I can. I'm not going to make any promises because this is going to the biggest amount of housing I've ever made ever in RPG Maker so and I'm not really good at making houses at all as you can tell so most of the buildings in the game are going to look like this so if you know it is what it is I can't help it I've, I mean, I can, I can make different layouts. I've done it before, but it, it's not my specialty. So, like the only other layout I can make. Let me see if I can find an example here. It's not there. It's not there. I can do the ones with the porches. Like that's easy to do. Like no problem there. Um I can yeah, I've done this one right here before. I have done this one too, but I have to constantly refer back to this or something like this in the program so I get it right cuz I'm not used to doing that design. I've done it before, but it's not my specialty. Like I don't I didn't start out doing it until like this version of the program when it first came out because I didn't know you could do this kind of house design at all until this one came out. That's just America. I mean, think, look at it. Here's, here's us. Here's South America. Here's, you know, Asia and all that stuff. And here's Australia. Just a smaller condensed version of it. But yeah, I mean, I, I could do this kind of housing. I don't really care for the roofs, though. That's the only issue. And those are the only roofs that you can do this with. I think. I don't know. I kind of do want to make a castle as well. But I don't know if I will. I mean... I 
I mean, there's an idea. I could do something like that. And then maybe have that be... No, I couldn't do randomized maps. Damn it. I don't have enough maps for that. Okay, that's the prison. Let's make... Why is this the second floor? It should be like the... Should be the basement on the oh, that's weird, whatever then. I don't know. And then you got the modern day stuff too. But I'm not uh, gonna make a modern day game. I've always wanted to make a medieval based game and that's what I'm gonna stick to. Maybe one day I'll make a a game using the modern day assets. But for now I'm sticking to these. Because that's what I started out with was the medieval based graphics or tile sets as they're called so I want to I want to stick to those because that's what my game is based around and maybe in the future I'll actually make a modern day based game using the modern day based tile sets who knows maybe it'll be the sequel if I make a sequel I can have like a a huge gigantic time skip or something. I don't know yet. We're still making maps for fudge sakes. <clears throat> Anyways, enough rambling. It's time to start drawing out the um the um roads. <clears throat> <sighs> okay. I normally put down a a texture first. <clears throat> hmm. Do I want to put down a texture? A grass or something first. I probably should do that. That way nothing stupid happens. So I will do this for now. It's not the actual... Oh, did that break? Oh, okay, hold on. I gotta, re I gotta replace that then. Hold on. Um, actually, no. That's why. Yeah, that's why. That's why it's showing white because it's on the white background. So I need to replace that. And it's 188.95. And there's a reason why I have it there. Because of reason. So 188 fudge. I forgot. There's a reason why I have it placed in that specific spot. Alright, so the grass is temporary. I will change it. Oh, why am I yawning so much? Good God. Oh yeah, I know why. <laughs> it's freaking 5 p.m. Okay. Let's see here. I don't need any of this stuff. I mean, I could do trees now. Because I'm going to do trees, obviously. Um, hold on, let me come back here real quick. Okay, I did have water, but the cave starts from here and it goes up and bypasses all of that as well. <clears throat> okay, I know what I'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know, yeah. I won't have any of the water on this map. It'll be a different map that you... Yeah, it'll probably be the map after this one. Actually, hold on. Um, where is... Yes, it will be after this one. Um, and I will put it in... I want a comment. No, 
Now it won't be a full water map. But now I have that. I may not refer to that at all. I might forget. Which actually, hold on. You know what? So I don't forget. There. Now I can go over here and I can delete that comment. There we go. Cool. And then that is our new map. And I want it to be obviously because I can. I want to be a douchebag and then um I don't have a name yet. Yeah, so this will be a water map that I mean it'll have water on it. Like a continuation of well, it'll have where the water flows into here and then I sh Hmm. Normally water flows to an ocean, which is, you know, obvious, but in this instance, it does not. It flows down to here, and it seeps into all of the um, trees in the forest. That's why there's so many trees in this forest. Not only that, but it also goes into the ground underneath. I could have put water in that area that I made you know, over here. I could have, but I decided not to. Because I can say the water is in a different part of this area. It's in this cave, but you don't have access to that area because it's it's flooded you cannot walk in there at all it is just completely flooded so and there's no point in making a map you can't walk in whatsoever so lore wise yes there's water down there in that cave but you cannot enter that area lore wise because it's flooded and there's no point in making that map at all, lore-wise. I could do that. Or I could go back and make that map. Which I might, who knows, I have, again, 2,000 maps to work with. I could easily do that. Alright, so now let's, let's get on to this. To start drawing the pathways out for how I want the city to be laid out. I normally do one by one roads. I've always done that, but since this is a major city, I'm going to break my own rules and do a two by two road. Because it's a major city. And my goal, I've said it before, is to have more NPCs than Cyberpunk 2077. And if you've not played that game yet, I recommend it. Cyberpunk is a wonderful game. Sure, it came out as a buggy mess. What game doesn't? But it is a fun game. I played it day one. I rented it through Gamefly. I loved it. I bought it on Steam. I love it. Play it. I highly recommend it. Alright, so... Ooh. 
I just thought of an idea. Instead of having an opening right there, I can instead do this. Hold on. Um, where's... Yeah, instead of having it open out in the open, <clears throat> I can have it open out in in a building. Ooh. Okay, hold on. And then maybe... I can't really do a stealth mechanic, though. I have no idea how to code that in with events. If I knew how to code... I could probably do it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, so I want to make a building right through here. So then it won't matter where... Yeah, I want to make a building right through here. So I actually, hold on. I want to keep that where it is so I know where to put it. Okay, so I want to put a building first. So what kind of building do I want? Well, since it goes into a cave, the cave has, has had mining done in it but not on this end. It can be... I can make it a smuggler's... No, I could. I can make it a smuggler's area. Or, a th or like a thieves area. Or is it a, essentially the same thing? Um. Let's see. I want any guard posts. Stores. Stores. Um. An inn. A pub. Because I can combine those two. I want to need housing. I want to need. Hmm. I don't know what I'll make this one. I'll, I'll think about it. But I want it to be a brick building. So. Or. Yeah, you know, I want it to be stone. Alright, so. So I want it to be <coughs> that wide. Actually, no, hold on. I want a bank as well. Hold on, no, I got an idea. We'll make it this wide and then that tall. I say we, but I mean me. <laughs> and then. Actually, no, no, I want to change. Yeah, that one is dead. Okay, so this is where it'll be at. And then you come out inside the building itself. Now for a roof or a topper. I also need a church as well. Every town and city will have a church. The cities, will, the cities and only the cities will have a bank. I don't know if I'll have it to where you can store your money or not because there's really no point in that. 
but it'll be a building to go into and look around to find items. <coughs> what about... Whoops. I mean, that kind of works. We're done. We did it. In recording now. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one, and I'll do three high because it is a fancy city. Okay, so that, okay, um, how much room do I have over here for interiors? I got some room left. Okay, not much though. So I can put some of them over here, which is nice. Okay. Well, oh, almost close it out. Let me just do this for now. Okay. All right. So I want to I might go ahead and draw the interior for this so that I don't forget that it's where you come out of. Or I can make a note for myself real quick. So. Where is, is it here? No. It is right here, okay. Um. Let's see, a guardhouse, um, hmm, I don't really know what I want this building to be. I could do that actually. Hold on, how far up in the map am I? Hold on. Um Oh, actually. No, um that is So lower edge, medium tier, and then maybe higher. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this can be a higher tier area right there here on up. So, okay, how, how many rows do I have? I'm curious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, fifteen rows. So that means that the lower tier, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <coughs> so lower and medium will get f four and a half tiers. Let's just say four. And then the higher tier of houses will get the most. And I'll end it with like a big giant mansion or something yeah yeah okay so this is a higher tier house that we're working on right now and that's where the entrance comes out of okay so 
to Nobleman's house. I kind of want to capture this. I don't need a note. Um, I want thunder here, and then this. And that is there for now to remind me <coughs> that this is a nobleman's house. Okay. Actually, no, I need to, um, make a comment. And then, <coughs> cave exits here. I said, hopefully, you remember this. <laughs> I said, hopefully, you remember that. No, 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 actually. Cave exits inside. Okay. Yeah. And then do this so it actually saves. And then, yes. All right, cool. Save it again for reasons. Do this so that I can no longer undo because that's a, a bug and a half that is not fixed. I don't know why. All right, so that is now done. We have our first building placed. It's not done, but it's placed. So now for the entrance to our first building. They're fancy, so they get the fancy doorway. I'm kidding. I saved it, see, and I undid it as well. That should not be a thing. I'm sorry. So they'll get the normal bullcrap doorway because I don't care and it's a nobleman's house so they need some fancy ass windows oh wait I don't have any <laughs> I don't have any fancy windows, but I do have a, a fancy chimney though. I'm oh, crap. I do got a fancy chimney though. And I do have a flagpole, but it, it, it doesn't really work as a flagpole. They call it an antenna, but they didn't have cable TV back then, so how is this gonna get you anything? It's a it's a flagpole, but the flags. Hold on, the flags. They don't work. I'm sorry. They just they don't work. I'm sorry. Okay, I can work with that event, maybe. We'll see. I can hear my neighbor's bass from his car. God damn. Hmm. I need winders. <coughs> well, they're nobles. They hate all the pores. And the pores are their um their only view so they kind of have all the windows shut because well you know they're nobles and they hate the poor <laughs> they hate the poor people they're stuck up rich people who hate the poor people oh kind of like in real life nice oh too soon Are too accurate, eh? <laughs> Way too accurate. Huh. 
How many squares do I have? Oh, man, I, I, mm, that'd be too many, never mind. That'd be way too many houses and whatnot. I could do that, but no. What if I gave each building, hold on, how many do I have? I'm curious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen by fifteen. That is, I can't do meth. Um. 15, that's 150. I cannot do meth. Um, um, I can't do meth. Holy cheese and crackers. Okay. Divided by Twitty Bird. Um, 75 buildings. Um, um, no. Holy snappity crappity. Do I really want to make 45? map interiors I mean it would take a couple of extra maps to do versus 45 separate maps which is freaking awesome I mean, I could do 45. And let's see, hold on. Time 6. So it would get this many. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that would be all of its property. <coughs> or I could do 1, 2, 3, 4. I, I, oh, I, I could do that actually. I can do hold on three six what what if I did a nine by nine grid so hold on twenty five and I did a nine by nine grid for every single one of them. Be twenty five buildings in total, and they'll all have a nine by nine property. I mean, would that work? Hold on, let me take this. I'm curious now, hold on. I'm actually curious. Would that work? Make sure I actually just copy nothing but that. Alright. Would that work? So... One, two, three. Oh, I'm not gonna count those ones. So one, or or these ones. I can leave the sides open. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I better not do that because it'll throw the math off. So one, two, three, four. So th I'll go right there, <coughs> and then I'll go right. here. Here, here, no. Uh, there 
was a delay. Wow, that's a big ass delay. Holy crap. So it'll go here. No, this is wrong. No, no, this is wrong. I need to go here. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. <coughs> so that'll be five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ignore this one. Crap. I might move this one over to here. Yeah, I'll move this one over to here. So one, so one, two, three. One, two, three, one. That's not right. No, this one needs to go down to here. Yeah, there needs to be two gaps between it. Okay. Yeah, I think it'll work. I really do. But I want to at least lay it out and see how it looks. <clears throat> and I may not do this layout at all. I might just do something else. Who knows? Because I don't really want to do like a uniformity thing. So who knows? We'll see. But I do want to see if this idea works all right and then yeah so this would work it would work this way honestly but do I want to do it this way or do I want to have it be where the buildings are in random locations like I normally do like over here I like this better than I do this this looks boring and dull so I'm not gonna do this at all. Oh, I saved it. Fuck. Oh, um, well, changing the map saved it. Actually. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm not gonna do that. But I do know that I can get 25 buildings if I wanted to by doing that. Alright, so I'll just I'll just redraw that building. I don't mind doing it, it's not a big deal. That was an idea, but I'm not gonna do it. Alright, so it was from here. It was up and then it was a bit more like so save it I need I need the chimney again which it fudge which is not a big deal to me at all save it again 
because saving does not actually save, which I don't understand why. All right. Let's see here. Now I need the windows again, which I know I need the doorway again, which was like right here. Save it. Well, not really. I guess save it to the thumb drive and then actually save the program to where you cannot undo it after saving it to the thumb drive. for the windows because they're stuck up snotty bitches. Plus the windows won't be the same but I don't give a crap. It is just a project. So that's done. We got the building back. That's nice. Okay. No more messing around trying to figure things out on that part. I need more tea. Oh well, it is what it is. Who cares? Uh, let's see here. I don't need meth helper anymore for now. Um, save it and then save it again. Well, soft save, hard save, whatever. Until that bug is fixed. I don't count saving it to the thumb drive as actually saving it because it doesn't actually save it. Actually, no, hold on. I wonder. I wonder. Hold on. I'm curious. If I do this, and then I do this, that's saving it. Okay. That's what I thought. But I can no longer undo it because it saved it. Even though the program is like, oh, you need to save this. No, I don't. Changing maps is what saves it. Because saving it does not actually save it because I can still undo the program and undo what I put down. Save. Save. Undo. Undo. Save. It's a head scratcher. <clears throat> Alright. We have this one done. The cave enter or enters this building. This is how you get back into the same cave. Maybe, if I decide to do that again, we, maybe, we'll see. Hopefully. So, honestly, I might just do the buildings first, and then draw. I could do that, actually, yeah. Yeah, I want to try that first. So, how many buildings do I want to how many do I have over here I'm curious hold on two three four five six seven I didn't do this one so one two three four five six seven eight I did eight over here right oh, let me check One, two, three, four, five, six, on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did ten. So what am I missing over here then, huh?
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, up here too, 10. All right, yeah, so that's 10. So, I did S, S10. I could do 20. I could double that. I mean, I mean, doubling it sounds fine. Then just add five more for what? Honestly, yeah, why not? Screw it. It won't hurt. So, actually, here's what I might do. Um, I might take this template, copy it, paste it down in a few spots, see how it looks, and then go from there. Paste it in nine more spots, maybe? And then go from there. I want to make sure I got all of it. Hold on. I don't trust myself. And I don't want to copy anything more than what I actually need. So now let's have fun with this. So we need... So we got a noble house. Alright, so let's do a poor house, a poor house, another poor house, another poor house. So that's four. I need 20. So if I do five poor houses, okay, there's five right there. Maybe six. No, those are. Those are too much in a line. Um, how about like one, like right here? So there's two, then there's three, and then maybe here, okay, there's four, and there's five. Maybe five, maybe five houses for the poor. And then this is where the higher end nobles start and they have all that room up there, okay. So the noble, okay, so okay, so a mid-tier house here, another one right there. I can even like maybe squeeze these ones down further if I wanted to, but I don't know. Maybe one like right here, another one right here. There's gonna be more of these ones because there's more people that have the money to sustain themselves. There's also going to be um, hotel. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to save those for maybe only the. I mean, I could do that. Save the um, hotels and whatnot for only the upper class. I could do that actually. Maybe. We'll see. Put one like right there. So that's five already. And there's five down here. Okay. So that's ten. If I can get f five more middle class and then ten upper class, we'll have 25 buildings to work with. I can modify them out, 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 outside. I can then draw the pathing, change the grass to whatever I want it to be for, for them, decorate, and then make the internals as well. Okay.
So that's two, three, four, and then maybe like five over here. Yeah, that's ten right through there. So five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. There's fifteen, sixteen, okay. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty five. All right. So I need to make a mental note. Actually, no, I will do that now, actually. Hold on, I wanna draw a path real quick. Um, hold on. This rug is going to be what represents, it's not gonna be the official, of course, but it's gonna be what represents the so I don't know why you would have a rug for outside I I honestly don't understand it but I mean you do you Japan you do you <laughs> I ain't complaining I'm just amazed by your choice that is all Alright, so these rugs represent the noble, the nobility houses, or the nobility um, buildings, not not just the houses. No, I don't want that one. No. There we go. All right. So that represents for the nobles. Okay, it's not the final final thing that I want to use. And then where? Okay, so dirt or whatever this is will represent for. the poor houses which is obvious and I will make the dirt the final one for the poor houses or the you know the poor district And then the red brick will be what represents. How does the red brick look with this around it? I'm curious. Eh, eh I don't know. I don't know. I can't justify that. I'm sorry. I I unfortunately cannot justify it. That does not work. I'm sorry. That it it it, it doesn't fit. I'm sorry. Like I I cannot do that to my eyes. 
Maybe it works, but for me, it does not work. It just is not appealing to my eyes at all. Actually, I think I'll make the red brick official for the mid tier. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll make the red brick official and then I will I'll replace I'll replace um the carpet or whatever the hell that shit is. Is it actually carpet? Yeah no it is. It says carpet down here. Why would he want carpet outside? I mean, I think they put it in the wrong area. I really do. I mean, yeah, you can have like outside stalls for store for for stuff, but there's no tile sets for outside stalls to sell stuff. So why would you want a carpet when there's no outside stores for tile sets? That's a silly. Unless I'm not understanding why it's... Who knows. I... I don't know at all, honestly. I really don't understand the logic behind it. Look at me, I'm painting. <laughs> I forgot you over there. Whoops. Alright, so this will be the official road. Crap on a cracker. Alright. The official road covered by this stuff as well. Actually, that kind of works. <laughs> Not down there though, it doesn't. That kind of works around the rich houses. I might do that actually. I I might try to find a way to put the border around the rich houses because that kind of works. That Hold on, is it doing it over there too? Yeah, no, that actually kind of works everywhere. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, no, it, it kind of does. Except for there, of course. Oh, I put... Oh, I gotta replace those. Okay, I see now. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere else I gotta replace those? Oh, yeah, I gotta fix that too, huh? That's not a big deal, really. It really isn't a big deal. Yeah, that's not a big deal, really. At all. So I gotta fix this, but, but it is what it is. Unless... Doing what I did with the, um thing borked it but I don't know we'll see
Hmm. All right. Now I come up here and fix that, which is honestly not a big deal to me. Excuse me. All right. Save this. Properly save it so that I cannot undo it. And then, did I get all of them covered? I think I did, yeah. So we have all the buildings laid out now, which is nice. Yeah, all of them are laid out now. Nice. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here for now, and I will try to progress some more tomorrow while I am out with my support staff. So, well, tomorrow being Tuesday, you guys probably won't see this video until tomorrow, Tuesday, 21st of May. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe, like, and of course, hit the bell for notifications. And also feel free to check out my other content on my channel. My channel is primarily a gaming content channel, but I decided to record this process as a way to force myself to work on this so I can finally get this done because I have been working on this for going on almost 20 years now and I've not finished a single one <laughs> yeah since high school Summer school and high school is what got me started with RPG Maker. And honestly, I enjoy it. I recommend it for your first engine. Because if you don't know how to code at all. And you want to start making a game. that Where you do not have to code whatsoever. I recommend it. And if you want to code, you can. I myself have no idea how to code. I've tried learning how to code, but reading all this stuff, it gives me a headache. I can't even code RPG Maker VX Ace, and that is Ruby code. I can go in and change like simple true, false, or numbers, but trying to make my own code in Ruby, which is, I'm assuming it's the most basic code out there. I cannot even do that at all. <clears throat> and when RPG Maker first came out, it did not have a coding language at all. You, if you wanted to do something, you had to figure out how to do it through the actual eventing system. And this is the actual way you had to do something without coding it. Through Ruby, Java, it was all through this system right here. Then they added Ruby code. Now they're on, for this one, JavaScript and there's a new one after this which I'm not gonna buy because it's like a hundred bucks or more and it's made inside of unity engine and with the previous blunders for for unity yeah they might as well just in my opinion give up on that one and focus more on this one my opinion so yeah, if you don't know how to code at all, or if you want to learn how to code, this is, in my opinion, a, a good entry level 
engine to learn how to code. Well, yeah. Do I recommend starting with MZ? Oh yeah, worth it. Wait for a sale because it's eighty bucks, or you can try out the um RPG Maker VX Ace Lite. If it's still available, it's like a small demo. You don't have full access to everything, but you can mess around with it as well, just to get a hang for it. If it's still on Steam, I recommend doing that. If it's not, you can grab VX Ace for like four bucks on sale, and they normally put it on sale for spring, maybe summer, winter for for sure. But yeah, I recommend this engine. It is fun. But yeah, anyways, have a wonderful day. Enough rambling, and I will see you guys next time.